A few things that you should know as a team lead and team admin is that all of the information that students and parents have, you have access to here as well. You have a little bit more uh, abilities, obviously, uh, to make the experience better for the students and parents. Adding and editing your team members. So you can look into team members here. Um, there are uh, only two here. So we have LMCA student. If you have a student who is saying, hey, my parents don't have access or they want their own separate login uh, to log into manage missions, you can go into this student and you can edit their information here. Edit, and you can make sure here that their email should be their LMCA email. It should be their LMCA email and they should be the primary and the ones to be notified. Then you can add the parent's email here um, as one to be notified as well. You can add another email. So when you add a parent's email here um, and you hit save, and then you have the option here with a link to send an invite. So if a parent is saying, hey, I did not get the link from Manage Missions to create an account or to log in or to view this uh, mission trip, that's your steps. You need to go into edit student information, make sure that the email is accurate, hit save, and then send an invite from Manage Missions to uh, the student or the parent. So you would hit that send and uh, send button and it will send it to everyone um, who is associated with this student. If you wanted to send the invite to the entire team and all parents and all emails that are associated with the team, you can send the invite to the team right here. Or if you wanted to just email the team, you can email everyone on the team, clicking this link here, and you'll see who's been added. You can add more uh, emails here as well. Um, specifically, you wanna make sure that parents are notified. Uh, I would just say add all. Story is a really cool feature where you can um, add information to your team's story, like new pictures and new updates about the area that you're ministering to. So you can edit that by clicking this button here, or you can preview your story. And this is what it looks like currently because there is nothing uh, on the page. But if you want to use utilize that, you can do that here. Upcoming meetings are listed here. If you wanted to add a meeting, just click add meeting. Same with tasks and goals. You have all the listed ones here and you can edit these goals and tasks. The financial deadlines are determined by the missions director and the finance department. You cannot edit these. Uh, do not edit these. Uh, as well as some of these other tasks um, and goals here are also created by the missions director and finance department. So you should not have to add any tasks and goals, but if you did for whatever reason for your specific trip, uh, you may you may end up if the missions director missed something or uh, there's something that your organization really needs, you can add a task. A goal would be more like for your financial goals. You're, so you're really only gonna add tasks. So you have your task type here. If you need them to upload a document, you would change this task type to be document. And you have the option here, allow team members to upload a document to complete this task. You'd hit save. Now we're actually in that task right here. So in order to, if you wanted to add the actual waiver itself, you could add that waiver here. Um, you can schedule reminders. You can set all those up here. So um, we'll go back to tasks and goals and you will see that the organization waiver form is right here. Fundraising. You can see everyone's fundraising progress here. So you see the LMCA student has zero dollars. If they are fully funded, you will see this bar go completely green all the way to the end and you will see the total here. You can also access the team's donation page, which is super helpful right here. You click that link and you can actually share this with your friends and family or even churches. And they can select here if they wanna to donate to the entire team or to a specific team member. So they can click the student if they wanted to. If you needed to know who donated to a student's account, you can go to options here and view contributions and see all the list of who's donated what to their account. To check on the student's uh, tasks progress, you would go to team members and you can click on that student, LMCA student, and you would find here below what tasks they have completed and what tasks they have not. So that's how you would find the progress for one specific student. If you're trying to check a multiple, which is probably going to move more cases than not, you would go into tasks and goals. 
you would go into that task and you would find their progress here. Team member, and if they uploaded that document or they completed that task or not. So we see here LMCA student has uploaded their student ID and if you needed to take a look at it or download it, you could. There's my ID. If you wanted to view their public profile to make sure it's uh, it's either good or even a, hopefully appropriate, obviously, you can click on that link and you can find the information uh, there. As a team lead and a team admin, I'm just super thankful that you are helping lead our students on mission. And I hope this tutorial on managed missions has helped you be a, a resource for parents and students when they have questions about managed missions. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the mission field.